Ryan, I know you've been finding opportunities in this market, but yes. what do you want to say about these job cuts and whether or not this is going to get worse? Well, I think you can't extrapolate out to the rest of the economy. You know, I've said that all along. Look, you know, the banks, I mean, Morgan Stanley is a perfect example. They hired 34 percent more workers during the pandemic. So, of course, they're going to start to trim here. That's just like the hangover after the party. But I think it comes down to what we just talked about in the real estate market. It's all about supply. And the biggest problem we have in America right now is we have a labor shortage. We had 200,000 people leave the workforce just last month alone because literally baby boomers were retiring in droves. And we know we have over like 10.3 million job openings in this country. So I think this is a longer term problem. And I know everyone thinks the Fed's going to fix it and all of a sudden unemployment's going to start to rise. I don't think it's going to happen, Maria. I think it's not possible because you can't change supply. Unless we change our policy around immigration or we start having more kids very quickly, um, I think this is going to be the bigger problem. It's not going to be if financial companies are laying off or tech companies are laying off. The overall problem is, you know, we've got a labor shortage. Well, what about the problem of recession? We do have a labor shortage. I agree with that. But yeah. I'm talking about a weakening situation that may very well start to impact earnings. It could, but look that how impacts the stock market. It is, but look how well companies have been managed through high inflation, supply chain issues over the last 12 months, and inflation on the ground floor. Real-time inflation is coming down. If you look at gasoline prices, you're at $3 right now a gallon. Uh, so you have prices coming. That's, that's an, in effect, a tax break for the American people, and wages are going up. Now, I'm not an economist, but, you know, from where I'm standing, if you have wages strong and you have inflation coming down, that's going to be a lot of purchasing power going into next year. Hence, I'm not quite sure we're going to recession. I've said that all along here. And more economists are starting to get on my side mm -hmm. of the fence. So you'd be buying stocks going into 23? I, I mean, know you're already buying stocks. Yeah, I think 100%. If you miss this opportunity, and I said this on your show last week and talked on my podcast, Pain Points of Wealth, one of the fastest growing in America, is basically... You've got valuations at some of the best levels that we've had in years. If you're invested globally here, you know, stay away from tech. Don't overweight tech. Mm. You're going to be very happy.